and see if this sounds better. Uh, for the most part, uh, I ran a few tests and it seems like it is working a little bit better. Uh, the only thing now is <laughs> it seems like my computer is really, really laggy. Uh, so uh, we'll see if that, hopefully that's not going to be a problem, but uh, it is very, very slow. So it just might be a situation where I need to uh, reboot everything um, or maybe there's an update or something that it's just not able to uh, do right now. So that's why it's doing all this. But yeah, it's very slow. Uh, I don't think it's the internet. I think it's actually the computer. So uh, we'll just have to run with it. Uh, but if you do come in or when you do come in, just let me know you're here just by saying hello and let me know how the audio sounds, please. Uh, because uh, I want to make sure uh, this is working properly. So we'll do some Q&A. You have questions about travel, anything like that, travel credit cards, uh, stuff that you want to just discuss, uh, please put it in the uh, chat and we can go ahead and, and get that going. Uh, like I said, the... I'm really having some difficulty moving stuff around here. So, like I said, it, it's running a little slow. So, I'm checking the feed right now. It looks like uh, at least one person's here. Just let me know you're here by saying hello. Uh, and let me know you can hear. Uh, you can hear the audio because uh, this is a whole new setup for me. So, I just want to make sure that uh, we're, we're, we're going good. Uh, what's going on, buddy? Uh, Osama. All right. Sounds good. All right. Good. So we'll get on here. We'll just do some some q and I don't have any real topic uh, to talk about today, but you guys can decide the topic by by asking me some questions uh, and then we will uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll talk about stuff. Uh, I know I'm coming on a little late. So for people on the West Coast, you're probably <laughs> sleeping right now because you have to work tomorrow or uh, if you're lucky, you don't have to work tomorrow. But um, we'll just uh, keep this going. HD chilling. What's going on, Hardy? Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm working on the audio. I'm trying to get this better. I have, I've had this mic for forever. I've never used it really. Um, oh, well, I shouldn't say that I've used it for some voiceover stuff, but, uh, that I, I had two mics. So I had another mic, a little smaller mic that I was using mainly for the voiceovers. And then I would use this from time to time, but, um, uh, I didn't realize I, I tried to use it for live streams, but if you hook it into the computer, there's a there's a delay and you can try to fix the delay by going into the software and all that good stuff. But I don't have time for that. So uh, <laughs> I pretty much hooked it directly into my camera, which I didn't realize you can do. And so that's what I'm doing now. So the delay should be should be pretty much synced up. It might be a little a little laggy, but uh, I think it's 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 workable uh, because I was just having some issues with the. There's buzzing that comes on in the background. Uh, I don't know if it, I don't know what it was to be honest with you. Uh, now it should be a little bit louder and uh, just more of me <laughs> as opposed to the way it was before. So uh, let's see here. Uh, let me open up this chat over here. And like I said, you guys have questions, just put them out there. Uh, I know this is kind of an impromptu thing, so uh, I'm not expecting a lot of people to jump on in, but. I just want to make sure for my live streams uh, the week for the weekend that everything will be uh, working properly. Uh, so let's see. I can put this out to a few more people. See if we can get some more people in here. If you are in here, just hit the like button too. That will uh, let uh, let others know that uh, we have this stuff going on right now. Uh, and yes, if you do come in, just let me know you're here. Just say hello, and then also. Uh, let me know how the sound, how the audio sounds. All right. Let's see. Drop that down there. And we'll shoot this out to some people here. So I'm just trying to get more people in right now. So we're doing a little little promotion here. Uh, okay, we could close that down. Now, if you guys are new here, and uh, you haven't stopped by before, please join our Facebook uh, group. We have a Facebook group going on right now. Uh, what's going on? Is that camera? I can't see what that says. Camera lover, I, w I would think. What's going on? How does it sound, camera lover? Uh, okay, let's find something here. 
and camera lover. So what kind of camera do you have there, buddy? Okay. All right, so we put that out there. And yeah, so I and I don't like I said I or I said this a little bit earlier if you guys didn't hear, but my computer for whatever reason is not not the way it usually is. It's really really slow. So I've been uh been dealing with that for for a while here today I should say <laughs> been dealing with it. Uh, so camera lover, what kind of camera equipment do you have? Okay. All right. Life for business. What's going on? Uh, you need more RAM. No, you know, I just bought this computer. And the funny thing is, I bought this computer specifically for for streaming. And, <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's, uh, I'll let you guys know, it's a Lenovo Legion Y530, I think, something like that. Uh, it's a good computer. It's, it's a laptop, but it does have like a, a dedicated graphics card and um, i7 processor. And maybe, I, I, you know what, the RAM is eight, eight gigs of RAM. So maybe I should try to update that or upgrade that. Uh, maybe that's the issue there. We'll, we'll have to see. So camera lover, you have the uh, Canon Rebel i6 on a budget. Yeah, you need to go with Sony if you're on a budget. Uh, well, I should say Sony's lower end cameras, uh, but you can get something comparable to that Canon Rebel. Uh, I'm not trying to switch you over to Sony, but I did the switch. I had Canon forever for like eight years, and then I switched over to Sony last year, and I've never been happier. Uh, so maybe just something to think about. They do have like uh, when it comes to Canon or I'm sorry, when it comes to Sony, you have a variety of different models that are within that six hundred dollar range, um, like the A5100, which is a pretty decent camera. Uh, it's just it has some overheating issues. So videos, is, it might be a little challenging, uh, but they do have some some APS-C size sensors, smaller cameras, good stuff for uh, travel and, and stuff like that. Uh, but definitely if you're on a budget and well, I should say this, if you're on a budget, Canon is probably your better option, um, because there's just more variety and there are cheaper lenses that you can purchase. Uh, when it comes to Sony, yeah, you, you can get some of the cheaper bodies, the APS-C size bodies. Uh, but then when you want to get some real good glass, you're going to have to pay a premium price for them. Uh, plus they're not as readily you don't have all the third-party makers. Uh, they're they're starting to make more Sony lenses, but uh, in the past, the, every they were make all the third-party makers were making uh, lenses for for Canon. So, uh, but yeah, that's good. Do you have any lenses right now? Or obviously, I, you would have some lenses, probably a kit lens. But do you have anything else other than that? All right, Frankie Frankie Castro, what's going on? Uh, from Queens, New York. Hey. Uh, let me know how it hear, how you, how the audio is Frankie, uh, and life for business. Also, let me know, uh, how the audio sounds and I might, yeah, I might need to go to 16 Ram. Uh, the funny thing is, and this kind of rubbed me the wrong way when I was, when I purchased this, uh, computer, I went into a store, I won't name the store, but went in there to buy the, the, um, the laptop and I wanted to upgrade right there. I wanted to upgrade to the 16, uh, gigs of Ram. They were doing a sale, so they have this one, and then they do have a 16 uh, gig uh, or 16 RAM, 16 gig, whatever they call it. You, you guys know what I'm saying. So they had that uh, version, but it was like $100 more, and this one was on sale. And so I, I went with this one, and then I was just I was just going to upgrade to that 16 gigs of RAM. Um, but they act they acted like they didn't want to want to do it for me, like. First, they told me, oh, I don't know if we can do that. Uh, you know, they have like the, they, uh, they have the on-site people there uh, that, that could do it. And he said, I don't know if we can do that. It might be blocked. And so I looked on YouTube. I already looked on YouTube, so I knew that it was possible. And so I looked on YouTube, and I saw that, you know, they were showing going inside the computer and doing all that good stuff. So I showed the guy. So he's, 
I, I'm dealing with a salesperson who's going and going back to Geek Squad, so you guys can figure out where I'm where I was going back to Geek Squad, and Geek Squad's telling them, "Oh, you know, it could be blocked. We might not be able to do that." So then I show him the video, and then he goes back, tells the guy, and then he comes back, and it was just like, a, "Oh, well, yeah, it's it's probably going to be a lot more." I said, "Well, how much is it going to be?" Um, they couldn't give me a, a set like how much it was going to be, which I thought was really weird. I mean, it's like you guys want my business or not, I'm willing to pay a little bit extra to get some more RAM. Uh, but I think the whole deal was the fact that it was on sale. They didn't really want to work with me because I'm now getting the same computer that's uh, $100 more. I think it was 100 It might have even been a little bit more than 100 maybe $150. Uh, i am now getting that same, that same uh, debt, uh, laptop uh, for cheaper than what they're selling it for right now. So I don't know. It, it was, it was really weird. Uh, but I was already ready to buy. And it, so I, I just went ahead and bought it and just thinking in my head, you know what, I'll just, I'll upgrade it myself. I've seen it on YouTube. I know, I know it's possible to do. Uh, so I'll just do it on my own time. So yeah, maybe that is what I need to do. <laughs> we'll see. But it, it hasn't done this before. And the only thing I can think of is the fact that I have this all hooked up. Um, but I'm not using, I'm not, the mic is not going through the computer. It's actually going through my camera. Uh, so I have it hooked directly into my camera. I'm only using the, the USB to uh, get the, the power because it needs a little bit of power to run. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just hook it into a power bank or something. All right. So enough of that. Um, let's see, Osama, I have the Chase Sapphire Preferred, I got 50,000 points as a sign-up bonus, uh, it is better, at, wait, uh, is it better to transfer those points, or have, have to book a flight, oh, wait, I have to book a flight using those points, because I'm going uh, to Africa round trip uh, for people, all right, so, uh, first off, you're not going to be able to get four people, I don't think, I don't think you even think that's possible, but, uh, you might be able to get, depending on how you want to fly, uh, a one-way round-trip ticket um, to Africa. But um, the, your best bet is to transfer your points, yes. So uh, what I would do is I would look on Award Hacker. So get on awardhacker.com and type in exactly what you where you're going and all that good stuff. And they should be able to show you as far as points what's your best option. Um, as far as, yeah, as far as using your points, because basically what you're looking at is, let's just say, and I'm just giving you an example, but if you go on Award Hacker and you type in all that information, they're going to tell you exactly what airlines uh, are, are partnered together that will allow you to book that flight. Uh, but I can use an example. Let's say you go on to United uh, because the Ultimate Rewards Program, you can transfer to United. So you transfer your point or don't transfer your points yet, but look on United's website, type in where you want to fly to, use uh, points. You know, it'll say use points or use cash. You're going to want to use points. And then it will pull up a list of all the different um, uh, airlines that are flying out there that are partners with United. OK, that might not be the best deal, though, because you might be able to get a better deal if you. If you go to Award Hacker and you can see there, there's some, there might be some different variations that you can, um, you can look into, uh, that'll give you a better deal. Okay. Uh, all right, Frankie Castro sounds good, looks great. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I've been working on this audio, and I, I used to just have the. Well, you guys know if you see my show before, but I have just the the shotgun mic that I had before. I've used the lav mics. Uh, but the the problem that I'm having is it's picking up, it's picking up some type of interference, and I'm not sure if it's the computer or if it's just something going on with the wiring. I don't know. Uh, so I'm always hearing either a hiss um, that is normal, but it, it was at a, a higher level, or I'm hearing like some just some noise, like a, it sounds like um, some type of like interference. I don't know where it's coming from, but. Uh, so I'm also hearing that. Uh, if you guys are in here, please hit the like button, and then we can uh, get more people in here and uh, start talking about some travel stuff. Uh, anybody have any plans as far as uh, travel destinations, anything coming up soon, uh, any places are, where you're going? Uh, I can tell you that in June I'll be going to Hawaii. Uh, I'll be going to Honolulu for a couple of days, and then I'm going to fly out to uh, 
to uh, Kauai. And every other year we do a trip to, to Kauai. So uh, it's like a family trip. Uh, so I'll be doing that. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I haven't even booked my airfare yet, which I need to get on that. Uh, but I've, I've been waiting. Um, the only reason that I'm waiting is right now I'm trying to get some, well, I'm working on my Explorer card. I only have, I think, $200 left to hit the minimum spend. That minimum spend, this is a business card, the Explorer um, business card. Uh, Explorer Plus business card. It's a five thousand dollar minimum spend. I usually, I mean, five thousand dollars is kind of like my limit. When I get to that high, then it's it's a little more little more challenging for me to get uh, that on a on a three month every day or on a three month spend. It is it is pretty tough. Usually, I'm around. I'm easy when it's three thousand. It's, it's simple. Four thousand, eh, I'm okay. But when it comes to five thousand, yeah, it's a little more than uh, what I normally spend. And, and that's, that's the thing. Like that's the big key when it comes down to, you want to, you, you don't want to have to spend extra money uh, to hit minimum spends because then you're, you're putting yourself in a situation where you might not, I mean, if you have the money in the bank, you have the money in the bank, that's fine. But let's say you don't have the money in the bank and you're kind of spending more than you normally spend and you know, you have a budget or what have you. And now you're, you have money that's, uh, that's or not money, but you have you have a balance that you need to pay off, but you can't pay it off or something like that. So I always advise every month uh, and I do it every two weeks. So every two weeks when I get paid, I, I pay off my credit cards. Uh, so I never carry a balance. OK, never an outstanding balance. So I don't have to pay any interest. Uh, but, yeah, it does get a little challenging when you get to that point where, let's say, you pay in a little bit, a little bit uh, extra a uh, little bit more than you normally spend and then you you might end up not paying and if you don't pay the the full amount then they throw that interest on there and then it's just there's no reason there's no reason to to have a travel credit card if that's what you're doing because all those points that you're earning you're just giving them back uh, with the interest so all right uh camera lover dublin ireland okay that would be a nice trip uh, at the end of the year that's cool that's cool. Uh, I definitely am interested in going <laughs> going down to that area too. Uh, Aloha, David. What's going on at? Uh, let's see, night. Uh, Michael, what's going on? Anyone ever hit uh, minimum spend and chase? Not give the sign up bonus uh, when the statement closed. No, I have not. That has not happened to me. Uh, I'm usually on it though. Like uh, uh, in this case, I called them. I called them earlier this week. Uh, actually, it was last week, just to see exactly when that last day was. Uh, so I know my last day is on the 26th of this month. Uh, and like I said, I have about 200, 200 more dollars to spend. So I'll spend that probably. That, that I'll have that done by. Actually, we're we're cutting. Let's see, ten. So seventeen more days. So I'll have that done hopefully by next week. As soon as I get it done, I will call them. And just, hey, you know, I hit my minimum spin just so I can get a confirmation from them. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've never had that situation where I've hit the minimum spin and, and they denied me the, the money. That would be a huge, uh, that would be a, a big deal uh, because these cards, the way these cards are designed uh, or the way the programs are designed or the way you should look at the way the programs are designed is you need to hit that minimum spin and get that sign up bonus. Uh, because that's what puts you over the top, okay? And then now the banks are they're gonna they're gonna really struggle to try to, you know, keep your business and all that. But uh, if you don't hit that minimum spend, it's not worth it. It really isn't. Um, and if you don't get the, or I should say, if you don't get that sign up bonus, it's not worth it, because now you're now you're now you you have to use the card and use the card in order in order to earn points. Uh, whereas you can get that nice sign up bonus it'll give you a good year of well i should say i shouldn't say a year of points but it'll give you at least one trip um outside of the country and then you can continue using the card and earn and earn and then by next year you'll have more points enough points to do another trip uh, so that kind of um, catapults you that's what i'm looking for it catapults you into uh into um their card their points or, or what have you so yeah, I, I haven't had that that happen to me 
that would that would be a bad deal. Uh, so I, if I were you, like in the future, if that has happened to someone, or don't even let it happen. So you get a credit card, be on them about it. Call them, let and find out exactly when that date is uh, that um, for your your. Uh, uh, what am I saying? The, for the sign-up bonus to end, you need to find out what that date is. Because another thing you have to think about too is when you sign up for the card, that's and you get accepted. That's when your clock starts. Okay, in most situations, and that's why I say call to confirm. Because when you sign up for it, they don't send you the card right away. Usually, you get it within the first. I, I, usually, you get it within the week but you're not going to have it right away. So back in January, when I signed up for the card, uh, January 20 or January 26 is when I signed up for it, signed up for it, got accepted on that day. That's when my clock started. I didn't get the card until I think it was another, at least another week. So at least another seven days when I got the card. And so once I got the card, then now I start spending, but I'm already behind, right? Because I, you know, it's not a, a full three months. Uh, so I had from January to February, February to March, then March to April, April, yeah, March to April. So here I am. Uh, so, so you just need to understand how that works. And it might not work with every credit card that way, but I know my experience with Chase, that's the way it works. As soon as you get approved, that's where it starts. And so that's why you should call them just to confirm when is that expiration date on the on the sign up bonus because I might want to make sure that I hit it. Uh in most cases I like I said most cases if it's 3000 there's no problem I'm usually a month ahead of that. Uh but um when it gets to about the 5000 mark and I've had a couple of cards that are 5000 yeah it's a little little tougher uh to a little tougher for me in a normal a normal spend situation. Okay. Uh let's see uh, buy something that you really don't need, like a laptop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. Exactly. It was the Southwest Companion Pass. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've never had it happen to me, but that was Chase too. So 60,000 bonus uh, on the business card. Wow. Yeah. That That's, that's unfortunate. Uh, Simon, what's going on? Simon Gamer. This is the first time I've seen you on here. Um, how's everything going? Uh, do you want a sloppy day? I don't know what that is. All right. Uh, Sheldon Jr., what is going on? Uh, uh, have I been to Creek before? No, I have not. The Pariah, what's going on? Uh, no, I have not. I have not been there. Uh, most of the places that I've traveled to South America or in South America or Central America, I've also gone to uh, Paris, um, Thailand, uh, where else? Aruba, a couple other places. Uh, but that's for that's the mo for the most part. That's where I've gone. I've only been traveling for about two and a half years. Um, I just started using these travel points. Uh, and, I, and I'm talking about outside of the country. So I've only been traveling outside the country for well. My first journey outside the country was um, 10 years ago, but since then, I started picking it back up, traveling outside the country about two and a half years ago. I started getting these, these uh, credit cards, uh, and then at that point, uh, these travel credit cards, and at that point, that's when I started using points, and I started traveling a lot more. Uh, prior to that, uh, I, I just didn't think it was possible, and so I didn't do it. Uh, so there are a lot of places that I want to go to that I haven't gone to yet. And I I mean, I have the points now, so I just need to, to figure out a game plan as far as time and everything. Uh, there are a few destinations that I enjoy going to um, over and over again, which some people know about already. Uh, Columbia is one of those places, so I'll go there uh, frequently uh, throughout the year. I'd like to go there at least twice a year, but uh, I might even ramp that up even more only because there's some business opportunities out there that I that I want to get involved in. So uh, that's where I am when it comes to that. Uh, but uh, I definitely are, I'm looking at these different areas. And one of the good things about having a community of people who enjoy travel, uh, and one of the reasons that I like getting on here is the fact that we can get on here and we can talk about different things. 
uh, when it comes to travel and you and people can let we can share with the group okay i've gone to this destination i had a really good time this is what i did this is where i went uh and i i just think it it, it helps us kind of decide where we want to go next uh so all right uh all right, so Simon, if you want to talk travel, that's cool. But if you're just on here to to troll, then we're gonna have to get rid of you. So, uh, you make that decision. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Burnout, same thing with you, buddy. So if you guys want to talk about travel, we're we're good with it. But if it's if it's other stuff, then yeah, we're gonna have to get you out. All right. Uh, Germany is so much nicer than France. Uh, yeah, you know, and I, I will tell you, and I, I only, I was only in Paris, so I didn't go anywhere else. Um, but when it came, when it comes down to it, like I went, I had a good time in Paris, but things were very expensive and the people that I interacted with weren't very friendly <laughs> And so that was one thing that that kind of uh, turned me off about the whole Paris thing. But I had a good time. Uh, it was perfect for I, I do photography, uh, a lot of photography, landscape photography and stuff. So it was perfect for that. But because you have the, all the old buildings, you have all the historical stuff and going to the Louvre was nice seeing the, the Mona Lisa, all that good stuff. That was that was that was a good time. But all the other stuff, like just the interactions, it just didn't seem very. Uh, very genuine or anything like that okay all right so we got a few guys that want to play games so we're going to get rid of them uh and we'll continue so if you guys have any other let's see okay um if you guys have any other questions or anything like that please feel free uh let's see Please uh, have AR-15s, so at least you'll be protected in Paris. Yes, they are very well well armed <laughs> in Paris, and they're everywhere. Um, that was one of the things that I that I that I really noticed. That they're they're well prepared. You have military everywhere, so um, military just walking around, and usually they were walking. When I saw them, they were always walking like in fours, and so you have two in the front, two in the back. And they're just walking head on a swivel, looking looking for things. Uh, so they're everywhere, yeah. Uh, even in the small, small little towns, I went to some uh, little, not town, well, yeah, I guess it's a town, little area of Paris. Um, and I'm walking through there, and I'm, I'm telling you, there's no one around. Like, it was almost, it was, like, deserted. Uh, a few kids playing here and there, but for the most part, it was, a, like, a real uh, small like town <laughs> and so I'm in, I'm there and I wanted to go there because I wanted to take some pictures and it's like a perfect it's that cobblestone road and all that kind of stuff uh and I'm walking through and I see these these four guys these four military uh, officers just walking through head on a swivel walking down I'm thinking wow and when you see stuff like that I don't know just for me being American I guess I, I don't know what it is but like in the U.S., we do see military, but very rarely do we see military in like walking around cities. Uh, usually, it's going to be police officers. Uh, so when when I see military, I'm kind of thinking, "Wow, okay." Because usually we call in the military uh, when there's a, a disaster, like a, a big time disaster. Uh, but in this case, yeah, it was, <laughs> they're just walking through, head on a swivel back and forth, and I'm thinking, "Whoa, what's going on?" So I'm looking like for what's going on, and and I'm in a little small town. There's nobody around. I'm just thinking, wow, that's that's pretty interesting <laughs> that this guy is just walking around. Um, so let's see. And yeah, they're in there. They are everywhere too. airports. When I was in the airport, same thing. You have military walking through uh, with their uh, with their assault rifles. Just yeah, walking through. I, it, it was it's a little it's a little uh, a little strange. And then the police. Uh, they drive everywhere code three. So they have their lights and sirens on or not sirens, but they have their lights on anywhere they go. Uh, so when they're driving through the city, it, it's there. You just see the lights, their blue lights just everywhere. Uh, so that's another thing that's a little like in the, in, in, well, I'll say in California, cause I know in certain areas, like in, in DC, that's the way it is. Washington DC. Uh, when I went the last time that I went, 
police officers lights on everywhere they they drive uh but in california it's not like that if there's an accident they're going to yeah they're going to have their lights and sirens on uh or if they're you know if there's a there's something they need to respond to uh, really quickly yeah they're going to have their lights and sirens but other than that you're not going to see their lights on unless they're well, you know of course if they pull someone over they'll have their lights on but that's that's pretty much it okay uh hey david what about domestic places uh to visit have you ever been to nola no i have not uh so that is on my list where is nola i don't know where that is uh night um i haven't been to very many places uh well i shouldn't say i've been to some places in the u.s what i do want to do is i want to do a tour like a I want to create my own tour, basically, just national parks, go to all the national parks. Uh, I had an opportunity to go to um, Yosemite, which is about four hours from me, and that was the best experience, the best experience as far as going to a, a national park. Uh, and, I mean, Yosemite is beautiful. It's a beautiful place. It's perfect for photography, uh, perfect for landscapes and stuff like that. So I've been wanting to go back there, but then I've also started looking at some of the other national parks, and uh, I want to go to the Grand Tetons. Uh, so those are some destinations that, where I definitely want to go. Uh, I need to kind of set myself up for that, though, because the type of photography that I do, uh, well, there's two types that I really enjoy. One is just landscapes, but I'm very particular, and I'm very I want like the perfect lighting. I want all that good stuff. So I need to be there for, I need to just camp out there, basically. Uh, I'm not big on camping, but uh, you give me a, a little motorhome or something like that, I'm all set. Like, I can go and just sit. Because with photography, you have to be very patient. And I will sit and wait all day for that shot that I'm looking for. Uh, also, uh, when it comes to sunsets and things like that, I want to get some good sunsets, but I need to have clouds in my... There's just so many different things, so many different variables that I like to have in my shots. And so um, that's kind of the way I'm, that's the kind. That's the way I am. So even if I go to Yosemite, it was the same thing. Uh, there was a lot of time where we didn't stay there that long, but there were a lot of times where I would go out and I didn't want to take the shot because it just wasn't there. I didn't like it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm picky like that. Plus, I like to do astrophotography, so I like to take pictures at night. Uh, and if you're out there at night, you want to have some type of shelter. So you want to have something over your head. So my perfect situation, I, I've been thinking about this for a while, uh, but I've, I started getting into more traveling outside of the country. But uh, having like some type of a, of a small uh, motor home. And I, I like the Class B style motor homes, but those things are just way too expensive. We're talking over 100000 uh, for those. And so what I see a lot of people doing now is converting these um uh these uh sprinter vans and uh the ram dodge ram uh pro master uh vehicles they're converting those into their own little uh motorhome uh so i i i'm i'm interested in that because that would be perfect i could go i could sit all day just to wait to get a shot believe it or not that's that's why i am sometimes and then you have wildlife and stuff like that and it's a perfect spot too where you can drive up somewhere, just sit and let the wildlife come to you as opposed to you going to the wildlife because you're going to you're going to scare them away anyway. Um, or you might be in you might be in a situation you don't want to be in uh, where they try to attack you or something like that or they do attack you. Um, so uh, that's kind of my thought. But, yeah, I do want to do national parks. Definitely. I'd love to do. I think there's 57 national parks. I think there's something like that. Um, in the fifties, I know that. So I'd like to do all the national parks in the U S. Uh, so that's something I'm interested in, 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 uh, exploring in the future. Uh, let's see, where are we here? Okay. Okay. Let me, let me move back. I, I missed uh, some stuff here. Okay, so camera lover saying when I was in uh, Paris, I was surprised about all the Africans selling fidget spinners outside the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't see that. Um, 
Yeah, I I, I didn't see them <laughs> selling spinners. Huh? When did you go? Was that when spinners were built really popular? Uh, you do have a lot of people selling you things, though. Yeah, and I think that's anywhere, uh, any country you go to, you're going to have uh, people selling all these little trinkets and things like that. Um, I did see a lot of, like, the, I guess it's like the gypsy population uh, when I was in Paris uh, that were either selling things or asking for money, uh, stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, night. Or after the, let's see. If you don't speak French, uh, the Palestinians are very snooty. Or the per okay okay the Paris it's Palestinians. Wow, where am I going with that? Okay, they're very snooty. So yeah, I I don't know. It, it just yeah. It, it even I I did a tour. I did a photography tour, and it was just me and the in the in the in the uh, the tour guide. Uh, so it was perfect for me because. Uh, what I do generally when I go to different countries uh, or different cities, uh, I like to do a tour. If they have a photography tour, I'll do that tour uh, the first, either the first day or the second day that I'm there. That way they can kind of show me some of the different popular spots. And then after that, then I'll go back and I'll hit those spots up because I like taking shots when the light is good. So it's sunset or it's sunrise. Uh, so you do these tours generally, they're like, they might start in early in the morning, but it won't be sunrise and then they'll end in the afternoon, but before sunset. So I just wanted to find the spots, but even that guy wasn't very <laughs> friendly. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was weird. It's just, I, I guess it's, uh, I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. And you have any tips for saving domestic uh, flight hotel? Uh, so nice asking if I have any tips on uh, domestic flights, like saving on domestic flights. Well, if you use points, and this is for flights and hotels, but we'll talk about flights first. If you use points, you can pretty much get anywhere in the U.S. with exception to uh, with the exception of Hawaii and Alaska for twenty five thousand points. That's round trip. That's an economy seat. Uh, so that's not too bad uh, if you think about it. That's the equivalent, like let's say a cashback. That's equivalent to two hundred fifty dollars. Uh, so, uh, that, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, and if you fly, like, let's say if you get points on, uh, like a jet blue or some of the other airline carrier air carriers, uh, they, they will adjust the point, the point value depending on where you're flying to. So if I'm flying to a shorter destination, let's say I'm in uh, Southern California, I want to go to Las Vegas. I can use less points just to fly there. Uh, so they do have uh, things like that as well, uh, because what you don't want to do is if you're going to use 25,000 points, you want to make sure you're getting your, your money's worth or, or you're getting your distance worth. So if I'm flying to Las Vegas, I'm, I'm just going to pay for that ticket if it's, uh, if it's going to cost me 25,000 points to do it. Uh, because 25,000 points, $250, I can easily find a JetBlue flight, a Southwest flight uh, from here, from Los Angeles to Las Vegas for 100 bucks or less. Uh, so usually I'm not going to use points for that, but if I'm flying to New York, so from Los Angeles to New York, yeah, I'll pay for that flight or not pay for that flight. I'll use my points for that flight because it'll be, it'll be a value. Uh, so that's generally when it comes to points. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Now, uh, there are other things. Let's say you don't have credit cards. You don't have points. You're not interested in doing that. Uh, you can get on the flight deal, uh, um, get on their website. I think they have a, I believe they have a Twitter as well. Uh, I know they have a Twitter actually. Go to their Twitter and get those notifications, and you will. They 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 send out a lot of stuff, and they're they're really good. And so, whenever they have any deals, uh, they're not all going to be domestic, but I think you can even kind of search. You know, actually, yeah, you can search domestic stuff, and then they'll show you all the different domestic destinations that they have uh, deals on. So they're 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 good. Another thing that that I would do is uh go on google flights if you go on google flights it will open up uh you can actually you can do a map which is great so you can look at the map view just put the date in where you, when you want to fly uh, and they'll show you all the different uh prices uh, so you'll be surprised it's uh, i don't know how it all works but uh you, you you can go just because the destination is further um uh, let's let me give you an example let's say i'm in los angeles i'm going to fly to colorado um that ticket might be a certain amount of money, but then if I fly to Florida, it's like $20 more. 
or if I fly to Texas, it's like, you know, almost the same distance from Los Angeles, uh, Colorado, Texas, Los Angeles. I can get to Texas for, for less than going to Colorado, and it might be a little bit further as far as miles. Uh, so just things like that. It, it, it's good, and I'm a visual person, so I like to look on. I like to look at a map, and if I look at a map, I can see all the different prices. Uh, and you, you have different airlines. I mean, it's basically they're going to show you their lowest price, the lowest price, and then once you click on it, then it will pull up all the different airlines. So you might have different airlines. You might have three or four airlines that, that are around the same price, uh, and then you'll have some other airlines that are a little more expensive. So you can kind of pick the airline you want to fly on. Uh, so that that uh, works as well. Um, but as far as hotels, um, hotels are, they're, they're, they're a little trickier. Um, I, I don't like doing the third party stuff. That's the first thing that I, that I, that I would advise not to do. So go directly with the hotel, uh, chain. Uh, you'll probably get the best deal. And I also don't, I don't, um, uh, like I use points, but I'm very picky with using points for hotel stays because you can use a lot of points really fast when it comes to hotels, uh, depending on where you're staying. I mean, if you're staying on a Hilton, an IHG property, uh, you'd be, re I mean, even Marriott, it's crazy how much they want, like uh, 30,000 points for a night. Well, 30,000 points, that's, and this is, this is the way I think, okay, 30,000 points, that's a round trip ticket somewhere, um in the US. So I don't want to waste my points like that. So there are a lot of cases where I will do one of two things. I'll do Airbnb or if I'm in it, I mean, that's why Airbnb for me is, is, is really crucial when it comes to saving money and travel, uh, because they're very reasonable and you can find Airbnbs for any, for a lot of, I mean, the price ranges are, there are a lot of different, uh, price or what am I trying to say? You have some that are expensive, some that are very cheap. Uh, you can kind of figure out what you want, but uh, they're usually cheaper than hotels. And when it comes to hotels, uh, one of the, the reasons I like Hyatt is because I can do the Hyatt Place uh, properties, and they're generally pretty good as far as points. They're not that expensive, uh, 5,000 points for a Category 1. Um, so if you can find a Hyatt Place that's a Category 1, that's perfect. Uh, if not, you can do the cash plus points. And I know, I think Hilton does cash plus points as well. Uh, but you can just kind of work it out that way. And then I kind of see who I'm traveling with too. So if I'm traveling, I'm single. So if I'm traveling with my friends, uh, then we, we all pitch in and, and we can do that. Uh, but even when I'm traveling with my friends, I still want to do the, the Airbnb if possible. Uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of how I am when it comes to, to the hotels. I'm a little stingy with my points because I want... I want, I have an alternative when it comes to, um, it feels like it's like, right, it's all up in my face. I have a, an alternative when it comes to um, hotels. I have an Airbnb option. But when it comes to flying, there are really no alternatives, right? So you're going to have to fly somewhere if it's far away. Uh, I'm not one to do the the long drives and the, and the boat rides and all that stuff. Uh, so for the most part, you're going to have to fly. So because you have to fly, I like to save my points and use my points for flying. And then when, I, when I'm when i in, in country, then I can go ahead and, and do Airbnb or if a hotel's reasonable, do that, but not use too many points with the hotels. Uh, that's that's kind of the, the way I go. Uh, okay, let's see. So I hope that helps with your question uh, there night uh pariah um, uh, let's see any protect police came in Paris for Amsterdam. okay uh even buying something like a a train ticket uh they can make it or make it difficult uh they speak english but just don't want <laughs> the image is saying even buying a train ticket yeah i don't know i, I maybe it's just I've heard this from other people as far as is um, Paris. And maybe they just don't, or in France, I guess, a, as a whole, but maybe they just don't like Americans. <laughs> you know, it's possible. Uh, but, yeah, I, I I didn't, when I was at the hotel, I was at the Hyatt Regency. They were very, very nice at the hotel, and they helped me out a lot. But when I went out, 
outside that hotel and went to some other places. Uh, they, yeah, they, and I don't think it was their being mean because that the same exact. Let me let me give you an example because that same f- um, photo tour that I went on, it was just me and me and the guy. He wasn't friendly, but he was helpful. If that makes sense, um, and friendly meaning like small talk kind of stuff. No, it wasn't. He it wasn't much. Uh, going on but he gave me a lot of information as far as where I was and what I'm looking at and all that Uh, and then he even went a step further because I was just telling him what my plan was and I told him the same thing I just talked to you guys about where I like to get there a couple or I like to go there I like to do a tour the first a couple of days that I'm there that way I can go uh, on my own and take pictures uh, at sunset and so he was telling me okay okay you know I I, you know I'll I'll show you how to use the subway you use the subway you can get to anywhere in the in the uh, in, in this area. And so he did, he walked me down. He had a, he had his own subway pass. So he walked down, uh, showed me where I purchased the the tickets and, and I was set for the the next, I was only there for five days. So I was set for the, the next, um, three days that I was there. And so that was very, very nice of him to do because he didn't have to do that. Right. That wasn't part of the whole photography thing. And this is after we had gone to some, these different places, um, so, uh, he, he was helpful, but it's just, it just, it, I think it, maybe it's just the, the whole communication thing wasn't, uh, it, that's what kind of made me think, ah, you know, these guys are kind of, um, <laughs> uh, kind of short, short with you and very, uh, I guess snooty is the right word. I don't really know. Yeah. I guess snooty would <laughs> probably, probably describe it best. Okay. Uh, let's see, Clintus, what's going on? Uh, okay. Oop, I just lost everything here. Okay, so Image Wire saying New Orleans. So is that Nola? That's where you're saying Nola is. I have not been there. I do want to go. I definitely want to go there. That's absolutely on my list. Um, yeah, and like I said, I'm kind of, I'm all into this traveling outside of the country right now. Uh, so at some point I do want to do like a long, a long drive, like drive to some of these different places, uh, and just experience, experience the U S uh, human in new Orleans. It's literally like a bowl of soup. <laughs> it's a price saying, yeah, HD chilling. Uh, how was your Puerto Rico experience? Uh, do you have video? I do have video, um, Hardy, I, I put up probably, I think three different videos on, uh, Puerto Rico. This was a while ago. I went there, um, wow. When did I go there? <laughs> that was like three, that might've been three years ago. It was before my whole, before I got into points, uh, I went there and that's actually, that's what really got me focused on, on going with points because, uh, prior to that, I was flying or I was um, I was just booking stuff and I, I was still traveling within the U.S. Like I said, I went to Yosemite. So we drove out there, paid like two hundred and fifty dollars a night for some terrible, <laughs> terrible hotel uh, room that was the closest to Yosemite, but it wasn't inside of Yosemite. Yosemite, they have a hotel inside of Yosemite, but it was out, it was like four hundred dollars a night. So uh, we stayed in this hotel right outside of Yosemite. But what we didn't realize is driving into Yosemite to get like to the, the mall, the, the main area in Yosemite is uh, takes 45 minutes. <laughs> so we were 45 minutes away from like the mall. So that meant that if we wanted to catch the sunrise, which we did um, every time that we were there, we caught the sunrise. We had to get up at like three in the morning, three thirty get dressed, get in the car by four, get out there by around five so we could set up and have everything ready to go and, and, and take a picture of the sunrise. Uh, it usually it was around six o'clock or so. Uh, so we were doing that, but that's why I'm saying like, if I had, you know, you have people camping there, you have space for, uh, motor homes, as long as they're small motor homes. Uh, you also had, like I said, people camping, like I'm not, I'm not big on I'm not doing the tent camping um, for two reasons. Like I, I don't mind sleeping outside in the tent. I'm not, I'm not, you know, that that's not the issue. The issue is all my gear. And so, uh, and I guess I could probably keep it to just have it in the car. 
but that's my main thing all my gear i want to make sure my gear is 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 good <laughs> so uh having some small little motorhome would work out well and so that that's what i want to do but that, i'd love to do that just get on get on a get in a little motorhome and drive drive around the country going to national parks and taking pictures and vlogging the whole way um there's a couple of a couple of vloggers that i i've been following for years like that that's what they do all they do is drive around i won't say all they do but they drive around and not necessarily take pictures but drive around and just go to all these different uh these different cities uh in the US and vlog vlog on it or vlog about it all right so let me uh i can put this link i want to find the my uh Puerto Rico stuff which was a while ago it was a good time though this was before the hurricane and everything uh I enjoyed myself out there. The only thing is it was just way too expensive. Uh, when I say way too expensive, I could have done it for a lot cheaper, but I didn't I didn't know what I know now. And so I was paying top dollar for everything, uh, even though I wasn't staying in like the nicest places. I stayed at the, oh uh, God, I stayed at the, the Holiday Inn Express. And then I stayed at one other one. I can't even remember the name of it. Um, just average hotels nothing nice actually they were very they were very old so it wasn't like a holiday inn express they like built the hotel up it was more like holiday inn express bought an old hotel and then tried to uh like revamp it and so yeah it wasn't very wasn't a very good experience as far as that's concerned as far as my money where my money went uh but i rented a car i drove around throughout the or throughout the the country or not the country, God, throughout the throughout Puerto Rico, throughout the territory, I guess you'd call it. Uh, and I had a good, I had a good time, and I, and I, I, I got some some really good uh, photos. Well, I don't know why I can't find that. Uh, yeah, it's scrolling me through, but I'm not able to find it. So yeah, that was that was a good experience. I was trying to just find it so I can post a link so you guys can uh, check it out at least see, but. Uh, I like Puerto Rico. I like the people, beautiful women. Um, but yeah, I I want to do it again, but I need to I need to use points and stuff like that in order to do it. Uh, I just think it would be a lot better. Uh, why can't I find this? It's crazy. I think it'd be a lot better. Uh, a lot better experience. Plus, I haven't been there since since everything went down. So. I don't know how it is. Okay, here we go. I'll start on day one. So I'm just going to post this link. So if you guys want to check it out later. Uh, and this is earlier on in my vlogging <laughs> thing. My vlogging. Uh, I'm still not good with vlogging. I know it. Like I, I still need to work on things. Uh, but it, it's funny because you learn how to do a certain thing. Like I can sit down and do these this stuff all day long. Um like a regular video where I edit and all that stuff. And then you get into streaming. That's different. Then you get into, um, doing these, uh, live streams and that's different because there's all these different challenges. Uh, so let's see what else do we have? Uh, okay. I'm actually a photographer too. Uh, but I'm a fashion photographer. Okay. Yeah. Let's show that there. So night, that's good. So you're a photographer. What, what kind of uh, what type of equipment do you use? Um, and fashion photography, that's cool. I've always wanted to do more of that. Like, like I'll I'll, sh I'll do wedding photography, but when it comes down to uh, and I just opened up that link for night, so I don't know if you guys go back up to um, where I am because I probably went down a little further. But uh, he he has his channel on here or his his website. So yeah, I. I've always wanted to do more like modeling stuff, like modeling photography, but I don't, the reason that I do weddings and I only do weddings every once in a while, I don't do them uh, that often. Uh, I might do three or four a year. Uh, so I'm just doing it part-time, part-time when it comes to that. Uh, I do some other stuff. I do more real estate photography than anything else. Uh, but uh, yeah, when it comes to 
when it comes to wedding photography, I do it because it's you know, it's pretty good money. Uh, with the modeling stuff, unless you're doing like real big stuff, it's it's hard to make money doing that. Uh, you have to be kind of uh, in the in the know, like in the in the business. Okay, let's see. Uh, I see an Ace Live channel. Uh, is Kelly better than Medellin? Uh, so that's Pariah. So you're watching Ace Live. Good, good. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> I will find out because I I am now going to change. Well, I'm going to Columbia in in August, and I haven't booked my 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 stuff yet. But I the plan was to go to Medellin and be in Medellin for ten days. And they have a flower festival out there, so I was going to go for the flower festival, uh, and I still will be going for the flower festival. But uh, I was finding out that the flower festival, and just so you know, it's a parade. That's what it is. It's a it's a big parade. They're celebrating uh, the flower harvest. Uh, flowers are, are like that's one of their biggest exports is flower, and so uh, flower is flower is flowers. So. Um, that's what they they're, they're celebrating. So they have the parade and everything, but the like the flower portion, flower presentation or parade portion is the last few days of the the parade. So I think I'm I'm going to cut off the beginning of the parade, not get there at the beginning, but then get at the, get there at the end of that parade and then go to Cali for um uh, and go to Cali for uh and like 5 days. So be five days in in Medellin, five days in Cali, and in Cali I'll be able to. They have a they have another festival. I think it's I think it's actually like a, some kind of a modeling thing going on there. Uh, so that's my plan. So I'll, I will be able to go to uh, Cali, and I'll be I'll be able to give you guys my honest opinion. Um, yeah, I've been watching Ace too, and he's in our he's in our WhatsApp group, or he actually he's the one that that started the WhatsApp group. Uh, so he's been showing us some stuff, you know, off the. Uh, some uh some what do you call it um uncut stuff <laughs> let's put it that way stuff that he didn't edit out and put on youtube uh and it it looks very it looks like a good spot uh to be <laughs> in so we'll see now the women might be more beautiful or, or what you know that i think that's right now that's what he's talking about a lot how beautiful the women are and how curvy they are and all that uh but I'll have to see as far as because it's not just about the women; it's about the whole, uh, the whole environment, how the the infrastructure is, and all that good stuff. Uh, and I and there's a guy that's living there right now. Um, his name is Andre, and he's just moved out there. He's been out there for about a month, and he's a part of the WhatsApp group as well. And so he's been giving us a lot of a lot of information about that about. Uh, Cali and he loves he loves Cali he's always talking about how good it is and everything uh, but there are some it, it's not as modern as Medellin Medellin is more of a modern uh, city uh, Cali's is trying to catch up so that's where they are right now uh, and that's that's his opinion now like I said I, I have to give you my own opinion uh, after I go there but uh, that's his opinion of it right now but he loves it yeah he loves it uh, Sugar Skull Gaming Cali Curves yeah uh yeah, that's that's the talk. Okay. All right. Uh V sick. Hi, how you doing? Uh but did you see it? But did I see what? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Uh not in person but on Ace's channel. Okay, yeah. So okay, you guys are talking about the Cali curves. Um uh, Life for business, I have, or I save more on Marriott using Chase Ultimate Rewards using my reserve uh, for Marriott. Okay. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, like Marriott, and correct me if I'm wrong, so 11,000 or 10,000 points, etc. cetera. Um, and that's still a lot of points for me. And I guess I'm really tight when it comes to points and when it comes to hotels. I just, I just am. I, I would I would rather do the, the use them for the airfare and, and do an Airbnb. Uh, but it just seems like so much uh, to say you stay there for five days and you're getting you're using 10,000 points a night. That's 50,000 points. Ooh, that's that's a steep for me. I don't know. Just knowing that I can do an Airbnb for a lot less, I think, is, is what's uh, 
what gets me. <laughs> now, uh, if I'm going, let's say, uh, you know, I have a girlfriend and we're going to go out and we want to have like a real nice experience on a resort, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's where I will use the points. But if it's just me and I'm traveling out to different places, uh, the hotel is not that important uh, to me. I don't need to be wined and dined uh, and pampered at a hotel. Uh, I, I, I want to get there and explore explore the the country. So that that's my main goal. Okay, Nika, what's going on? Uh I plan I plan on flying jet uh jet suite one day. Yeah, you know, I saw those. I don't know. I'm not really big. <laughs> now the Jet Suite X, I think that is that a I think they're a partner with JetBlue. I believe they are. And when I was at Mosaic on JetBlue, if this is the same the same company, uh they offered me like a flight to I think it was to Las Vegas or something like that. It was a it was a short flight, but they offered me a flight for the same price that I would have paid to fly on JetBlue. But I didn't fly. Like I, they still all to to me it just looked like a first like a business class. It wasn't like a life flat seat or anything like that. It just looked like a business class seat. Um but it's the whole plane. The whole plane is is like business class. So, yeah, I don't know. Plus flying to Las Vegas, it, I mean, come on, that I think it was Las Vegas. Yeah, that's it, 45 minutes. So, I mean, it would be good. Yeah, if it's jet blue price, I think it was like 120 something dollars. And I guess that's not bad. But uh yeah, and they were just promoting it because they wanted to get more people uh more people interested in it. So I I'm sure it would have been a real nice flight and they would have done everything, pulled out all, you know, had all the the different little benefits and stuff that they would have provided just so they can try to get your business in the, in the future. Okay, New Orleans is a nice and or nice, wait. <laughs> New Orleans is nice, friendly, uh people, good party life. Yeah. I I I will be going to New Orleans definitely. Uh, just don't go down those back alleys in French Quarter. Get robbed. <laughs> All right, that's good advice. Uh, life for business. Taking talking about booking a Marriott with Chase points uh, through Expedia instead of transferring a Marriott booking. Uh, that's a way or that way because I find that's less through Expedia. Okay, so Nika's saying. Uh, as far as like booking it through the portal and st- the, the ultimate rewards portal, instead of booking it, transferring your points over, uh, she thinks, or she says it's cheaper to, or less points to, to book through the portal. Right. I think that's what you're saying. <laughs> I'm messing up your question or your statement. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I did get a new mic. <laughs> No, I didn't actually. This is an old mic. I've had this mic for a couple of years now, and I just never used it. Like I, I, I got it for voiceovers. I used it a few times, uh, and you know, like I, you can probably notice my voice is a little, a little uh, deeper and everything. This is like my normal voice, but when I have the other mics, it's a little different. And you have the, the, um, I don't know. The, the sound was just not the way I wanted it, so I decided to figure out how I can hook this up the right way because the way that I hooked it up in the past and I tried this before in a live stream I hooked it directly into the computer well now I have the mic taking the audio into the computer and then I have the camera doing the audio so the not doing audio but the, the it was off it wasn't synced up so I tried to sync it up it just I could never get it right but then I realized uh, through YouTube looking at some videos that I can just hook it directly into the camera and this it'll be all synced up so that's what I did all right so I hope it sounds better, uh, and let me know if it does sound good. Um, if it doesn't sound good, let me know. If you like the old the old way, then let me know. The only thing I don't like is I don't like having this thing in front of me. I have to get used to that. Uh, I like to. I, I just feel it, it just feels weird. Uh, I, I'll get used to it, but it, it just feels weird. So let me know if it does sound good. Let me know if uh, if you don't hear any different or any difference, then let me know that as well. Uh, let's see. Life for a business chase portal is cheaper uh, to me because of the Sapphire Reserve extra bonus. Oh, okay, so I get what you're saying, Life. So because there's a bonus uh, for using the portal, you get like a with the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you get more of a bonus, or not a bonus, but you get more of a percentage off, like twenty five percent, whatever it is. 
I, I don't use the portal, so I, I will tell you that. Uh, I don't, but uh, maybe I should look into it a little bit more because of that. It gives you more flexibility because now you're booking on Expedia, so you have you have more flexibility as far as uh, flights and hotel stays and all that. Uh, but like I said, I I'm 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 kind of sold on the Airbnbs right now. Uh, I hope it. Uh, I, I hope <laughs> I don't have any real issues with Airbnb in the future. Knock on wood. Uh, but right now, yeah, I'm I'm good with them. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. I missed a few things here. Okay. Okay, so Nika's saying that New Orleans is lit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I skip stuff. I'm sorry. I go back and forth. It's like, where, where are you going with this? Let's see. RV camping sounds interesting. Yeah, Pri. I, it's something that I've always wanted to do, but I kind of want to have a good setup. Like, for, I'm doing it for photography. That's the main reason that I want to do it. I mean, I want to experience these different national parks, but uh, let's face it, photography is what's going to get me there and, and, and keep me there. And I want to be able to just to, to just park somewhere and just sit there and wait uh, for for good opportunities um and i i've done it like um i've done it in my car believe it or not like i live probably about it's about an hour and 45 minutes from um joshua tree so joshua tree is a national park and i think it's a national park or a national forest or something i think it's a national park it's a national park i believe i don't know but I've gone there a few times, uh, and you have these Joshua tree, like these cactus. Uh, you've seen them before. You, you'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen. It's like a Joshua. Just type in Joshua tree in the search, and it'll, it'll, so they have these these uh, weird looking um, kind of uh, plants. Uh, and I go like on a new moon. So when the when there's no moon in the sky, I'll go. And I haven't done this in a while. It's been at least over a year. Uh, and I'll go and stay up the whole night and just take ash just do astrophotography and i I've, i have a video on on youtube about that uh but did i ever post that link either I don't, i'm getting sidetracked here i don't think i ever posted that link oh yeah i did there it goes um so i'll go and do some astrophotography so i'm taking pictures of the stars and stuff like that uh but the problem is i'm in my car and i'm there and you don't have anything like you can't like relax because if you're doing astrophotography, you're doing it the whole night. So you, you want it would be perfect if I just if I could set some stuff up right outside of my my vehicle and just relax, lay down because I do time lapse, all that stuff. I like can do time lapse where I don't know if you've ever seen like um, a star a star trail where it's just like a trail of stars you see these pictures like that I, i've taken some pictures like that so it, it takes a lot of time basically so it would be a good setup if i could just kind of uh be relaxing doing other things while i'm while the time lapse is going the whole night okay new orleans is nice and friendly people are good good party life and so we uh, okay uh, Chase Portal is cheaper to me. Okay, so we went over that. TEC, what is your day job? Photography. Uh, photography is my part-time job, my day job. I work. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I do. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I work I work a 40-hour or a full-time job, and then I do uh, my day job. Or my, my I do photography on the side. Wow. Uh, yeah, and I just, as far as, like, my day job, I don't. I don't want to put all that stuff out there. You know, there are people who might want to try to target you. Oh, you work here and you work in California and oh, I'm going to find out where you work and all that stuff. It's just not, it's, it's overrated. <laughs> yeah. But I, I do have a job or a, a, a full-time job. Okay. I have the chase F I preferred and I still find it cheaper. Okay. All right. And you get, yeah, you do get a little, um, perk for using that i've just had better results with 
And usually when I'm transferring those points uh, for airfare, I'll talk about airfare because that's what I usually do. I, I never, I haven't done it for hotels yet. Maybe I'll look into that. But transferring it for hotels, transferring to the transfer partners like United. Uh, if I'm flying business class, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a better deal. Uh, they can't really like the portal can't compete with that because uh, when you try to book a business class or first class, you're, you're probably gonna use a lot of points, a lot more points uh, than if you look on the. Uh, on the like United's website. Uh, that's just been my experience. I've looked at it a few times. Now they are more flexible. So if I can't find what I need, uh, that is another option. So, uh, Maine, what's going on? Uh, what are you doing here now? Uh, I just decided to come on and talk a little bit, got my little different mic set up and I just wanted to see if it's sounding okay and all that good stuff. So that's why I came on it's kind of an impromptu thing. Uh, if, like I said, though, if you guys are in the Facebook group, I do post every every time I go live, I will post uh, just to let you guys know that I'm going live. Uh, and uh, so if, if you're in the Facebook group, you will you will get a notification as well as I think if you well, I know if you hit the little bell icon on the the um, on uh, YouTube, then you'll get notified anytime I go live or anytime I put out a new video. Um, by the way, congrats on the mic. Yeah. And I didn't buy a new mic. So this is a mic that I've had for a while. I just figured out how to use it, <laughs> use it properly. Uh, so that's, that's, uh, what we have going here. Uh, life is a business. I only use Marriott and reserve though. Okay. All right. So, and that was that link. So that's a link to, um, to the Puerto Rico videos. So if you guys are interested in that. Uh, I have the Hilton Aspire uh, for Hilton. That's Pariah saying that. Uh, I want that card perish. Okay. All right, let's kind of scroll down a little bit. Let's see if there's anything. Life is a business. The receptionist. Automatic top level diamond status. All right, all right, all right. We're going to move down here. Got a couple of questions for me. Uh, TEC, I think that uh, you're trying to hide behind the mic. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like that. That's what I'm saying. But, I mean, I can't. If I get away from it a little bit, I guess it still sounds okay. But if I'm closer to it, then you get that 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 deep voice. You know, my deep, sexy voice. <laughs> so, it just sounds better when you're closer to it. That's that's the way it should be working. Uh, I like I see some guys and they're just they're all up on the mic and they have like the mic actually, you no know, touching their 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 face. <laughs> uh, I won't go that far, but yeah, you do have to ha you have to have it up uh, pretty close to you. But it works better because all the background noise. So my computer has a fan going on. The fan's on right now, uh, so it's it's a lot less noise. You're not going to hear all that. Whereas if I have a shotgun mic, it's going to pick up. It'll come down, it'll pick me up, but then it's also going to pick up the what's in the background. Uh, and even if I have a lav mic, it's still going to kind of pick up some noise. It's, it's uh, the fan and stuff on the, uh, the computer. Okay, so Nika saying this, or her, we got one more question here. TEC, you can get a uh, five-night stay with Hyatt uh, for 25,000 UR points. Yes, you can. Uh, Hyatt Place, 5,000 points, Category 1. Yeah, you can do that, and that's why that's why I like Hyatt so much. And uh, if there is a Hyatt property where I'm traveling to, I will look into that uh, because just because of that. And if I'm traveling alone, then I'm definitely probably going to go with the with the Hyatt place if I can find one in the area. Uh, Nick, uh, I use points mostly for hotels. Well, that's because you have free airfare. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's. And that's good. You have that opportunity. So you have the you can get your points and you can use it for hotels uh, because you have uh, because you work for an airline. So you can get better deals on flights. <laughs> uh, let's see. Life is a business. Platinum is very nice. Uh, very nice card for uh, the perks. Uh, but I don't fly enough to really take advantage of it. OK. And that in that's a thing like they target it for business for people who are, are dealing with like traveling for business and things like that. That's kind of, I think their main, their main target. Um, and if you don't fly that much, yeah, it does, it does kind of hurt, uh, because one of the, or it's, the it, it's, yeah, it is geared towards travel, 
towards flying. You get the five times points on airfare. And you got the Centurion lounges and all that good stuff. Uh, so the thing is, just travel more. Life for life or business, get out there, travel more. And then you can get the card and you'll you can uh, use it more. Okay, let's see. And Pariah is saying he'd rather use points for flights. Yeah, I'm on the same page with you. Uh, I, I I'd rather use it for flights, and then just kind of figure out figure. I mean, then and, and there are also different places. Like especially if I'm traveling within the U.S., I can stay with with family members and and friends uh, in certain situations. So I definitely don't want to use my points for hotels if I can avoid it. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, so probably saying he'd rather do Airbnbs too. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense sometimes uh, to book through the portal instead of transferring, uh, but I would rather pay cash uh, in that case uh, because I only am only using points when I could get the value, when I could get a value of more uh, than two cents. Yeah, okay. And that makes sense too. That's another thing too, just to think about. Like, if you are interested in doing the travel points and all that good stuff um make sure you're getting good value so make sure you're getting two percent or more like make, make sure you, it's worth it uh there are a lot of cases where you'll you'll look and you in uh and i always look at worst case scenario so worst case scenario will be cash back and when i say cash back i'm thinking let's say you have sixty thousand points the worst case scenario is $600. That's a $600 value. That's worst case scenario. Now, what I want to try to do is get $1,200 or get $2,000 out of that. Uh, that. That's what I want. And so the way that I do that and the way that I work on doing that is by transferring it to those transfer partners. Uh, and that's why I say, like, if I'm booking airfare and I'm trying to fly business class, well, look at the business class ticket and see how much it costs just to pay cash. And if it's like sixteen hundred dollars to to fly business class, and I have sixty thousand points, and I'm able to book that flight with sixty thousand points, or even if it's seventy thousand points, like seventy thousand is probably a more realistic. Let's say seventy thousand points, and I have that seventy thousand points. Worst case scenario is seven hundred dollars. Now, if my flight is less than that. Then that's when, like, cash, cash. If it's less than seven hundred dollars, I'm not getting good value. Um, so, even if it's, even if it is seven hundred dollars, I'm still not getting good value. I want more. I want, I want at least twice that much, um, or more. So, if you're booking that business class flight, you are book booking the business class ticket. Look at how much that business class ticket would cost cash. If it's costing fourteen hundred. 2000 or something like that for that ticket. Well, then now you know you're getting good value. Uh, so that's what you need to look for. And there, there are a lot of cases, even if it's $700. And I look at that cash price and they tell me it's $700. Guess what? I'm paying cash. I'm paying that $700. I'm saving those 70,000 points for another trip because I can always go to uh, overseas somewhere and that 70,000 points is going to come in in it's going to work for me where I'll be able to book that. And, and that ticket is $1,300 or $1,400 for an economy seat. And I can book like a, a, a business class or first class experience for 70,000 or 75,000. So that's when I save them. That's where you have to really start looking at it and try to see if you can get the most value. If you can get the most value, then go with, with, um, with the points. But if you can't get that much of a value and you're just, it's like, um, cash like a cash back price nah i'm not gonna go with it i'm 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 gonna save those points okay and i hope that makes sense i don't know um that's just kind of my thing i don't know what you guys what you guys do and and how you guys work that uh but yeah i definitely want i don't just use points just to say oh i'm flying free uh i use points when it's when it's the best the best possible um outcome for me so if it's not then I'm not I'm not going to use the points. I'll save them, and I'll use cash because it's not like it's not like I don't have the money. So when I'm using points, it's not because I don't have the money. I'm using points because 
I'm trying to maximize those points to do something that I wouldn't normally do. Like I wouldn't normally fly business class because I wouldn't normally pay $2,000 for a seat. But if I have points and it allows me to do that, well, then I'll use those points and I'll, I'll get that experience. Uh, so that's that's the way that I, I kind of justify that whole thing. Um, I, I can have the money like I have money if I want to the, the Hawaii ticket. If I want to book that, I have the money to pay uh, for that that ticket. But if I can get a better experience and, and with Hawaii is a good example. I haven't booked it yet. I might pay cash for that because what I'm seeing right now, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if I can go through Singapore and, and get, get, it's only like 24, uh, I think it was 24,000 points for a round trip ticket economy. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. But if it's getting me to where I need to pay 45,000, 50,000, and then I look online and I see that I can book it for $500 or $600 for a round trip ticket economy, it makes sense to, to buy it. And then to keep that 50,000 points, because that 50,000 points can get me, I know it can get me, because I'll be going to Columbia, I already know 50,000, well, 70,000 will get me a round trip uh, business class again to, to Columbia. So that's kind of how I justify things when it comes to that. Uh, let me know, though. Let me know what you guys do, though, when it comes to that. Uh, I can do the whole, okay, so Price says, I can only do the whole apartment Airbnb rentals. Uh, I can't imagine just staying in a room uh, in a house while the owner is there. Yes, I I agree with you 100 percent, Pariah. Uh, I'm very picky when it comes to Airbnbs. All right. They have to have a washer dryer and they have to have it has to be the entire apartment. Uh, I'm not doing the I'm not doing the the <laughs> the uh, uh, rooms and, and that stuff. I'm not doing rooms. I'm not staying in hostels. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing the couch surfing, all that stuff. That's not for me. That's for the the, the younger people, <laughs> the millennials. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not going that route. Um, I, I'm definitely going to have my own apartment uh, in, in that case. Uh, yeah. So I don't. When I do my search, or I go on Airbnb and I start looking at my search, I make sure I filter that out. Entire apartment or entire house or whatever. Uh, it's I'm, ne I'm not going to do the whole room thing. Uh, it was funny when we went to uh, Barranquilla uh, for that carnival. There was a couple of guys that did that. Uh, they did the, the room. And they, they were fine with it. Uh, but one of the guys I was talking with uh, when I was there, and he was like, yeah, you know, I just, it's just not, it's, that was his only issue. It wasn't up to par, like, as far as, it is a house. It's a house and you're in a room. And he was just saying, you have to go through this gate. You have a key for this gate. Then you go through this other gate. You have a key for that. And then you go to your room. You have a key for that. It was just, just too much. Um, so yeah, I, I would never, I would never do that. If you guys are in here right now, please hit the like button. Uh, and if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. We do live streams often. <laughs> I have to say often. No, every Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we do live stream at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, we just get on here and we talk about travel. Uh, Saturday, generally, we're going to talk about travel credit cards. So if you want to know more information about that, just jump in, uh, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the little like or the little uh, bell icon. And it'll get future updates anytime I go on. Uh, today's Tuesday, and I'm I'm on today. I'm normally not on a Tuesday, but I'm usually on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So Sundays, we usually talk about uh, just travel related stuff. So it might be different excursions, different destinations. Uh, and Monday, I generally talk about Colombia because that's one of the places that I really, I really like uh, visiting. So if you want to know anything about traveling to Colombia, uh, that's what I talk about on that day. Uh, and then uh, from time to time, I will talk about photography too. So travel photography. Uh, I, I'm an avid photographer, so I do talk a lot about, or I will talk about photography if you guys have questions and stuff like that. Any of the live streams, if you have questions about photography, just just put it in there and, and we'll uh, we'll discuss it. Uh, but uh, anytime there are any new releases or anything like that, anything that I think uh, warrants talking about when it comes to photography, then I'll I'll uh, I'll put that in a live stream as well. So join in. Plus, we have a Facebook group, and if you uh, join the Facebook group, you can get more information about just all this stuff. Travel. You'll have all my videos. I'll post a, a video so you guys, or I'll post a link to the videos that I do, 
and the live stream, so you'll have that as well. Uh, and you will get a lot of information from everyone that's in the group. And the people in the group are great, so they have a lot of information that they can share with you uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to travel. Okay, how to use travel credit cards, points, uh, what credit cards that you should probably consider getting, uh, that kind of stuff. So we talk about all that stuff there, as well as we have links. Uh, we have referral links to a variety of different credit cards that people have. Uh, the good thing about the referral links is that these people have the card already, right? So they have the card, and you can hit them up, uh, message them, or you can just hit them up in, in the comments. Hey, you have this card. How do you like it? What are the pros? What are the cons? And they can give you their opinion. Uh, so that's good as well. So I posted a link there. So if you are in here and you haven't joined our Facebook group, jump in right now. All right. Uh, let's see. I don't like Airbnb, but I only use it. Wait. I don't like Airbnb, but I've only used it twice. Uh, New York and Havana. I love Havana's Airbnb. Wow, that's good uh, that you liked Havana because I was thinking <laughs> you, well, you probably didn't have a good experience in, in Cuba. Um in an Airbnb, but that's good that you had a good experience there. I don't know. I, I would, and I, it does depend on where you are too, like where you're traveling to. Uh, I think some Airbnbs are really affordable and they're, and they're nice. Uh, but you might travel to some certain destinations like New York would be one of them, which I'm probably pretty sure those, those Airbnbs are really expensive, um, for what you're getting. So just because the the cost of, of everything is, is that much more expensive. So it depends on where you are traveling to. I'm speaking mainly the Airbnbs I'm liking. I'm, I'm talking about Colombia. They're just, they're, they're worth it in Colombia because I'm paying $29 a night or, or $40 a night and it's a whole apartment. So that's, that's kind of what I'm talking about. So it depends on where you're traveling to. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can only... I do the whole part. Like, wow, I'm missing things. It's so weird. Huh? I'm just skipping down. Either that or that was already on here and I saw it before. I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, if you're using points for less than 2% upper point, you're usually better off using cash. Yeah, I agree with you, Maine. Uh, back uh, credit cards like the City Double Cash, Amex Every Day, and all those uh, rotating cards. Yeah. If you're yeah, if you're getting less than two percent, I, I I would agree with you. Uh, so you want to get you want to get some good value with those points, and I don't recommend saving your points like hoarding them and holding on to them forever. But I do recommend if you if you're not getting that that two percent, if you're not getting a good deal, uh, especially if you're not getting if you're not getting value, like you, like I said, if you're not getting the cash back value, definitely don't do it. But uh, uh, if you're not getting the two percent, consider you by using uh, cash and then saving those points for another trip. Now, if you don't travel very often, let's say you have the points built up and you don't want to hoard them and hold on to them for a long time. Although it it hurts me to know that you well, it doesn't even matter what I think, but it would hurt me to use those points. But if I'm in a bind and let's say I don't have the cash and I need to I need a ticket and it's I'm flying out in a couple weeks and everything's already set up. Uh, I might, I might just go ahead and use those points. Uh, but for the most part, I'm trying to save those for trips where I can really get the value. Plus, I mean, flying business class or first class overseas is, is kind of the, is kind of where you want to use those points because that's where you're going to get a good experience and not have to sit in economy for 10 hours. All right. Uh, Nico left out loud, not uh, paying for nothing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, to base my redemption on it being more than cash back. Yeah, you, you, you want to make it more than cash back. That's, that's the barometer. That's where you should start. Now, you really want to try to work it up as, as, as much as you can, as high as you can, I should say, as far as value. Uh, but that, that should definitely be your, your no-go zone. <laughs> Don't go under that, that, um, that cash back, um, cashback level all right okay so any other questions or anything like that any other concerns any other comments uh and if you let's see yeah please post anything in the chat right now and uh, we'll see if there's anything left and we'll, we'll talk about that 
If not, then like I said, I just wanted to come on mainly just to kind of get this mic going and make sure it sounds okay. Uh, and I've been getting some pretty good feedback, so that's good. Uh, I still need to listen to it. And that's one of the things I hate about live streams uh, because I could sit here with this little thing in my ear, but I don't want to have like a, I don't know. I just don't like having the headphone, like people put the big headphones on, which I think is ridiculous, or they'll have like the little, I don't have, I don't use iPhone or Apple products, but it'll have like the little, what do they call those things? You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they'll have that, or they'll just have the, the, um, headphone in one ear or something like that i don't like that i personally don't so i can't really monitor my audio so i don't hear anything until after i'm done and then i'll run it back and then i'll listen to it and then i just get ooh, i get irritated when i hear just bad stuff ear pods yeah those things those 200 hundred dollar things <laughs> so yeah i don't know until until after the fact so we'll we'll see how it works um all right so anything else any other questions guys because if not, then we'll go ahead and close it out for tonight. I thank you guys all for stopping by. Um, okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate that. <laughs> really gooey. <laughs> gooey. <laughs> no, I get it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say groovy. <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah, so good night, camera lover. I appreciate you guys all stopping by. Nika, Maine, Par Pariah, Life for Business. Uh, everyone stop by. Thank you very much. Uh, we will be on Saturday um, at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then we'll also, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I, I have to put out some more videos anyway. I have to do some editing. Uh, so I'm going to work on that. Uh, if you guys are in the Facebook group, one thing that I do want uh, you guys to do, give me some ideas, some video ideas. So... Uh, as far as like videos to edit. So we're talking about tra uh, travel credit cards, that kind of stuff. Maybe some comparisons of different cards, uh, stuff like that. Uh, let me know in the Facebook group and then we will, uh, then I'll look at those and, and I'll kind of get an idea. It's weird because you, yeah, I get to a point where there are some, there are certain cards that I want to do comparisons with. Uh, but there are a lot of cards that, I mean, there's just so many. So if, if there's something that you're interested in, then I think other people will be interested in it as well, and we can make a make a video of it, and that way we can uh, help out more people that might have the same questions. If you have other questions too about travel stuff, then please put in the Facebook group uh, and just put uh, this would be a good video idea. Or you can hit me up personally in the in the in the uh, messenger uh, and ask me. Uh, or not ask me, but tell me what, what, what you have, what ideas that you have, and we can go that route too. All right. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'm going to take off. Uh, yeah, that's all I have. All right. Take care. Mm -hmm.